Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at a very special operating system. For quite a while now, if you're not aware, we've taken a look at many operating systems, and I've critiqued so many things, things I've liked, things I've hated, things that needed a little bit of improvement. And today, it appears like somebody has went and made an operating system that I'm assuming is based off all of those critiques. That person is xpower7125. I've seen them in the comments of nearly every video I've uploaded for I don't even know how long. It's been quite a while. So they definitely know all the ins and outs, what I expect and what I like, what I don't like in an operating system. And they've went ahead and made a custom ISO called Windows Bub. That is all the information I have. It is a custom version of Windows, I believe 11, that is themed to be around me. I've never expected something like this, and I'm glad that somebody took the opportunity to make it. Um, there's not much information available on it because it was just uploaded to the Internet Archive today. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what it's going to entail. I don't know what it's going to look like. I'm hoping I don't hate it because I would feel really bad if I do. But let's go ahead and boot into the installer here and see what we can find. All right, and here we are in the installer, which is my YouTube profile picture. Um, it is stretched across the top here. Even the next button has my profile picture stretched, stretched across it. I actually haven't taken a deep look at my profile picture in such a long time, um, probably since I uploaded it, I think, in 2020. You can just see the Bub logo everywhere, even the X button. Uh, there are quite a lot of Bubs everywhere. Um, I don't like that I can't see the text um, because the background and the text are both blue. Uh, but here we go. We are installing Windows Bub. All right, and here we are on the desktop of Windows Bub. The only thing I've went ahead and done off camera was install VMware tools just so that we can get a better viewing experience. The first thing to take a look at here is this interesting desktop background. It's a very interesting combination between a cat, a Windows 11 default wallpaper, uh, some sort of character, and my logo slapped in the middle. Um, it is a very interesting choice. And do we have any other backgrounds? We do have a few, but they're all of other like characters that I have no idea what they are. On the desktop, everything has its own custom icon. We have our recycle bin um, with a green icon. We have an extras folder that comes with all sorts of stuff. I'm not going to go through everything, but we have desktop shortcuts. Um, we have enable printing, virtual memory, Xbox guides, Microsoft Store registry tweaks, web browser installers, which is very helpful, um, xlight info, change name info, tiny firewall, and wallpaper. We then have an info folder that has just Windows X Lite information, so I'm assuming it's built on top of X Lite. We then under that have Windhawk that I'm going to open just briefly here just to see, you know, we can take a look at what tweaks have been installed. Um, it looks like the only one installed is Text Replace here. Uh, pretty cool. We then have the README text file, which says Welcome to Windows Bub. It's based on X Lite Micro 11 SE that we've taken a look at before. Uh, made by the same developer as Stray OS. I have a, I can't remember if we took a look at that. It comes with Tiny11 Builder, and it is supposedly Windows 11 as it should be. We'll be the judge of that. And then we have two shortcuts that actually link directly to my YouTube channel and my X account that I don't even use this one anymore. So pretty cool. Down in the taskbar, we can see it is by no means a default Windows 11 taskbar. We have our desktop button on the very far right side. We have our notification center. We have time just does the same thing. And volume and network just open the same menu because they're combined together in Windows 11. We then have our system tray that is actually running a few more things. So we have safely remove hardware, VMware tools, Windhawk, Bluetooth, and system transparency prisoner. Um, I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to try and get out of this. OK. Over on the left side of the taskbar, we have our Windows Explorer by default with a very custom icon that kind of reminds me of Linux. And then we have this Windows logo that reminds me of like a Microsoft Office 2010-2007 logo in a way. I don't like it. Um, we then have the Windows 11 Start Menu, which isn't actually the Windows 11 Start Menu. It's a custom one, um, which I actually like. I'm a big fan of the Windows 11 Start Menu, so there's that, I guess. Um, by default, it makes the username admin. And we have documents, pictures, music, downloads, this PC. I did not mean to open that control panel, settings, and run. And then down here we have shutdown, restart, lock, all those fun things. So it really looks like a Windows 7 style start menu. We then have File Explorer, Tiny11 Builder, Tiny11 Core Builder, which does look to, it's just a PowerShell script. Um, 
Look at the README said Tiny11 Builder is included. So if you don't like this operating system, you can build your own version of Tiny11 and then install it over top of this one. Pretty nice of them to include that. We then have Windhawk, Accessibility, Apps, Startup, which Startup is running clear. I don't know what that is. Windows Accessories, Windows PowerShell, Windows System, Windows Tools, so nothing out of the ordinary, and then XLite Tools. Because we are aware that this is built on Windows XLite Micro 11 SE or whatever that said. Let's go ahead and take a look in our file explorer and we can see that on this disk we're using 7.02 gigs out of a 59.8 gig disk, so we have 52.8 gigs free. Pretty good for Windows 11 install. The other thing that really impressed me was the fact that Windows Bub, the ISO, is only 2.75 gigabytes. Uh, for Windows 11, that's actually really good, so they were able to compress this down a lot, um, which was impressive to me upon downloading it for the first time. While we're in here, let's take a look at the file explorer itself. So it does look like a Windows 10 style file explorer. They do not have the Windows 11 icons or the ribbon. Um, they also don't have tabs, which I'm actually a big fan of the Windows 11 file explorer, so there's that. Um, the icons do look more modern though, with a blue and white kind of theme for the icons instead of you know what we see with Windows 11. Um, the padding in between items is not the same as it is in Windows 11. It looks like they went back to what they had in Windows 10. Um, and all the icons are custom. Again, this really just looks like Linux. And the cursor also is something I wanted to hit on. It looks like it's coming out of an Arch-based distro. Let's right click on the taskbar and go to Task Manager. We can see that we are running, let's see here, typical Windows CPU utilization. We have eight gigs of memory on this machine and we're using 1.2 out of eight just idling here. Um, and idling, we're not using any of the disk and very little of the network. So. Not bad for Windows 11, pretty good, um, especially for a custom version. And we can take a brief scroll through here. I'm not gonna read everything, but you can see everything that is currently running on this operating system. So pretty cool. Let's go into settings here and take a look at what we're actually running. So if we go down to, okay. One thing I noticed is that Windows Update is disabled by default, but remember there is a option to turn the update service back on. Um, but if we go to about, we can see that we're running the edition of Pixel 7 Pro. Um, interesting. Uh, installed on the 25th of March 2025, um, and we're running Windows 11 22H2. So we are very out of date on this one. The latest is 24H2. So with that being said, there are a few things I want to note about this operating system. One is that I am in no way affiliated with this operating system. This is something that a viewer made for me that I wanted to take a look at. I did not endorse anything in this operating system. I did not design anything in this operating system. This has no association with my YouTube channel whatsoever. So take that as a word of caution. Um, there are definitely quite a few things I would change, but I really do appreciate XPower making this for me and allowing me to take a look at it. It's a very interesting build of Windows 11, and I can't wait to see what comes out in the future. So that being said, if you have any comments or recommendations for future videos, let me know down in the comments below as I love doing viewer recommended video ideas. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, Oh, I just see this. I just saw this. Hold on. Um, so it actually looks like my YouTube banner is up here. Um, Bubhub, StrayOS, XLite, more a dog. I mean, I am a dog person. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to deny that, but I don't know what that actually says. Um, Pixel 7 Pro operating system. So very interesting. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.